Hello and welcome from my house again. I'm Corey Ryan, and this is another edition of our Facebook Live show that we are now calling Let's Learn with Bruce and Friends. We've condensed it. It used to be Let's Talk, Learn, and Have Fun with Bruce and Friends, and that was a mouthful. We decided that even though we have all the time in the world, as nobody has time to say all of that, we're here today to celebrate all the amazing things happening in Leander ISD, even though our buildings are closed. As we continue to respond to the novel coronavirus known as COVID-19, we still have kids learning, teachers teaching, and amazing things happening in our community. We're here today to respond to questions and answers, to share stories of students, share stories of teachers, share stories of staff, and to get us started, as we always do, his name is in the title. He's our superintendent. Please join me in welcoming Bruce Gearing. Hi, folks, and so happy to be here with you again today. This has become normal for us now, and it seems like uh, my home office has become my normal office. And so it's great to be with you today. It's so unfortunate that I can't see or hear all of you who are out there supporting us and doing the great work um, in our community. So we have incredible things happening from all of our students, from our teachers, from our instructional support personnel from our principals, our administrators, our curriculum designers, our technology support team, our custodians, our child nutrition workers. Um, everybody is pulling their part to do what is necessary to keep us operating and learning remotely in this, in this challenging time. Um, and it's become a little easier, I think, as we go. We've all settled into a rhythm of sorts in our own family lives and in our school work and in all of the work that we have to do to make all of this happen. Um, but it's become a little more normal, a little more rhythmical as we, as we go forward. We're looking forward, of course, to planning and trying to decide what happens next. Um, we know that uh, it's frustrating because we don't have all the answers all the time. And we appreciate sincerely your patience with us as we try to figure out exactly what we do next. Um, we are apologetic for having to have canceled so many events that our students deserve. They've worked so hard for for so many years, especially our class of 2020, our seniors. They've had to miss out on a fantastic spring full of um, great opportunities. And we're, we're really sorry that they've had to miss that. We're sad that they didn't have some of the opportunities that others have had. But we also know that they are getting prepared to go on to a greater adventure and to do wonderful things in the world. And so we know that we're thinking about them and sending our best wishes and vibes to them to make sure that they're ready for their next step. Um, we're also planning very carefully for what happens in the summer and for what happens as we come back to school in August. And so know that we're thinking carefully and having a lot of conversation around um, what it looks like when we do eventually get to open. As the governor has started to reopen Texas and allow businesses to start to operate under a certain set of constraints, um, he's still very firmly kept schools closed. But we know at some point in time that we will reopen. And when we do, we, we need to be ready for what that looks like and how that feels and keeping us community, our students and our faculty safe uh, when we do that. And so know that we're having lots of conversations and there's a lot of planning going on around what that potentially looks like. Our hope of course, is that we will be back together in person in our buildings in the fall and that we'll be able to operate as normal but we're also preparing for the eventuality that that doesn't happen quite that way. 